Hey, how you guys doing? So this is Neil from MasterPayNow.com bringing you another free art lesson. I'm one of the top art instructors on Udemy with over 30,000 happy students all growing and learning. So grow with us. All right, let's get started. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a couple of things. One, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my sketching process uh, from imagination drawing figures from your mind without references that'll hopefully help you guys and then another thing I'm gonna do is be revealing the winner to the clip studio paint so first off let's go ahead and put the name up of the winner of clip studio uh, this is clip studio if you uh, entered in the contest you know what I'm talking about and if you haven't entered the contest then don't worry about that part and if uh, the person doesn't claim their prize within uh, you know 24 hours or so then I'm gonna go ahead and just pick somebody uh, randomly and uh, send them a message and let them know uh, that, that you know, and then I'll just keep doing that until someone actually responds. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First off with the winner. All right, there you go, that's the winner. James Hine, hopefully I pronounced that right. So go ahead and message me on the Master Pay Now Facebook page, the link is in the description, to claim your prize. You had about 24 hours, so yeah. So the first thing I did is I did an initial sketch from my imagination, which looked a little bit rough, and they always do. And then I went ahead and uh, fixed up a little bit and got the comic figure. And then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that turn that pose into a more realistic figure. I find that when I first start, because I draw so much comic style for so many years, that I find that when I just draw from imagination, that's like my default where my brain wants to go. Now here, I'm just, I was like showing you like the basic shape that I use for that pose. But then I'm showing how, like in my mind, I'm like, you know what, why draw the same pose again? Um, I was going to show a different way to draw it, but I was like, why not just use that same uh, kind of shape that's in her torso, but turn it to a completely different pose just by, you know, kind of angling the body a different direction, you know, angling the top and then, you know, just making the legs and arms a little different. And voila, we got a different pose. Now, this comes from a lot of um, study and not, not just like study from drawing from life. Yeah, drawing from life helps, drawing from photos helps, drawing from your favorite artist helps, but what really got me to the point where I can where I can draw from my imagination is learning all the information I teach in my course my anatomy for human figure drawing course it's a really popular course has I think close to 30 30,000 happy students right now and uh, yeah uh, so that's I think that says tons for it it's a really awesome course and uh, I still use it to this day I still go back and do the exercises from my own course and that's how I continue to get better and that's how um, artists that are doing, you know, put, putting the work in and doing doing the exercises are getting better. Now here, um, I'm like trying to make her, her her other leg, the leg that the weight's not on, like bend over her leg. And I'm just like, I couldn't get it to look right. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put it behind because I think that'll look better anyway. It made a better pose. So uh, I could have got it to work the front way. It's just it wasn't looking good to me. Like it wasn't looking like a good pose, so I'm like, I'm gonna put it behind her. Now here I'm I'm going with a slightly more realistic approach to the figure, where they're more of the normal height and uh, normal thickness, not that really really super thin type of waist that uh, you know comic book characters have, but still really you know really nice looking uh, figure, but more maybe on the lines that uh, you know artists like a Frank Fazetta would have drawn women. I'm just trying to get my mind used to drawing women that way. Here, this definitely comes out more um, like a comic character style, but uh, nonetheless, it still looks good. And I, I kind of like this pose. I think I want to use this for one of my uh, thing. And what I've been practicing a lot of sketching uh, females out of my imagination is for my uh, collection I've been working on, which is a nude female collection of symbolism. If you haven't seen none of those uh, paintings, uh, definitely uh, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll share a couple of them uh, that I've been working on and uh, some new ones that I just finished. Uh, one, one, I just recently did a Bob Ross thing. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to be doing a video, I think, on that. Um, like how to use, it's called Paintstorm. It's only $20. It's excellent software. It's got a robust paintbrush system that acts like natural paints. Um, one of the best so far. I'm going to try um, Painter again to see if it's better than Painter, but so far from what I remember Painter being, I think it might be even be better than that. So, And I just came up with some brushes to do a quick Bob Ross type landscape painting. And then I, of course, had to draw a nude figure in there. Uh, she's pretty small in the painting, but still cool. 
I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that one. Uh, the only part I was disappointed with is the clouds. I think I can make a cloud brush that you know works much better and faster. Um, depending whether or not it should just be like a, more like a cloud stamp that you just kind of fix up real fast, or an actual cloud brush like one I used, but it just didn't quite you know like a kind of scatter brush. It just didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. I think it just needs a different um, texture for it, and that kind of simulates the kind of soft circles you do with the real brush to um, make clouds in the Bob Ross style or in just a kind of impressionistic style just to uh, imply that they are they are shadows. I don't know why I did that there. Um, it's a common mistake people make is I just did with the hand there. I drew the palm coming right off the pinky. Uh, it's obviously not how it goes. The fingers hang below your palm. I don't know. I have no idea why I did that. Um, but then I was like, wait a minute, why did I do that? And I fixed it obviously. Some of the hardest things for people to do for imagination is this right here, like how to do the shading. And I do have, um, you know, a course on that, and that's the uh, Discover How to Draw and Paint Comics course. Now, it's not just for comics. It, the beginning of the course has the fundamentals to draw anything. But I decided to redo a course on that because I realized that that's pretty old and I have a lot of better information to teach now. And uh, that, I actually didn't get to record that one there. Um, came out pretty cool, the Supergirl type pose, uh, or Power Girl, whoever's flying. Anyway, so stay tuned for that. Um, that course, I've been working on it hard. It's coming out soon. And it's basically the fundamentals to draw anything and, and paint anything. It's literally the fundamentals you need to draw or paint anything, whether it's from imagination or from reference. So you absolutely need that. That'll be coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. If you're not already a student on Udemy, then if you want to be notified of that, just you know subscribe here to this channel. Or, or also, I recommend subscribing to my Master Painting Now uh, Facebook page. I have that linked in the description. And also I pin my post at the top. So just look at the top post I pin and that's also links to it. I recommend going there and signing up because Facebook is better at notifying you when I come out with new stuff and have, have stuff to say about my about my uh, you know my, my free videos here. Yeah, so if you've enjoyed this, please go ahead and share it with others. I'm sure they would enjoy it as well. And that's it for this uh, little talk here. I'm going to be doing, like I said, if you guys are interested in that Bob Ross painting, and, you, and I'm really looking at it now, if you're interested in, in knowing how to do this, it's actually really easy. It's it's maybe even easier than actually doing physical oil paints. Like it takes less, I think, time to master the these digital tools to do this kind of Bob Ross style of painting, and it feels very similar to to that. You know, where it's just so simple because it's just a little couple dabs of a fan brush. You got a tree. I actually have a brush that's very similar to that, and I might actually um, make a file an ABR file that you can download uh, that way you can have all the brushes that uh, I'm working on for painting like Bob Ross and I just like that way of painting backgrounds it's just so much faster and easier um, and it looks really good so you guys can be the judge of that for yourself the only thing I want I think I want to change is the clouds I want to I want to have another way to do clouds that just look a little bit better than that brush I mean it, it works really fast I did those clouds so fast like literally like two minutes or something or less um, so you can really do this painting fast. I did the whole painting in like, um, well, minus the, the, the figure because that takes a little bit longer, but just the actual Bob Ross background thing, I did it in about 20, 30 minutes. I mean, it's it's really fast to do once you get it down. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to paint like Bob Ross with Painter or Paint Store, let me know. I might also teach how to do it in, in Painter as well if, if Painter turns out to be good at all. Um, Paintstorm's awesome though for doing this kind of. It's just great anyway for painting. But uh, yeah, uh, once you get used to the brushes, and it's really good for getting that you know more painterly look. Uh, the brushes are really good at that. You can also get the that really nice fine detail digital look too if you want that. But uh, I like the painterly look better. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more free videos and share the hell out of this video so others can also learn. Let's grow and learn together. All right. Till next time. This is Neil saying. Peace out.